Hey guys, Karis50 here with a double review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Jamato Buckle and the Kamen Rider Core ID set from Kamen Rider Geats. These are a pair of premium bond exclusive items. One being the buckle used by the Jamato to transform into Jamato Riders, which also includes a broken core ID. And a set including nine Rider Core IDs as seen in the show and movies. So, let's get started. First up, we'll look at the Jamato buckle and its core ID. So, for the Jamato buckle, it's this very unique looking buckle that has all these green and purple vines on it. You can see it's also got a bit of a pretty neat intricate pattern underneath as well. And it's even designed to look like the vines are encroaching upon whatever ID is in the center. Now, this one actually has light and sounds built into it. So it does include batteries and it has a pull tab there. And once that's on, if you press the button here, you'll get that activation sound. And it's pretty loud since the speaker is right here on the front. I have its broken core ID, which you can see is done up in a single solid color with no rider design on it. Instead, it looks all fractured and splintered. Next, we'll use the Jamato buckle with the desired driver. So, as usual, we start by setting the core ID. And because it uses solid plastic, it doesn't light up as much. And we'll activate the Jamato buckle. And unlike the human riders, who put their primary buckle here on the left side, the Yamato riders put theirs on the right side here. And there's the Yamato rider transformation, but let me just try to get this correctly so it has the lights activated. There we go. Then if we push the button on the side. That activates the judge or just strike. And because we have an open slot, it's also compatible with other raised buckles. though it does override the sounds. Next we'll look at the nine core IDs in the Kamen Rider Core ID set. So six of them are regular core IDs and three of them are cracked core IDs and I'll explain those as we go about them. The first we have is the Shiro core ID. This is the first of the three bear head riders. So this one actually comes or he appears in the show before Punk Jack. So this one is done in, in white and pale blue. And you have the Gin Pen Core ID, and this is a penguin based rider, done up in clear black and white. And you have the Dapan Core ID, this is the panda based rider, so he's done in white and black. And you have the Mary Core ID, this is a pink sheep rider, the symbol right there. Then, perhaps the most interesting one of the set is the Revi Core ID for Kamen Rider Revi that's used in the crossover between Geats and Revice where temporarily Revi and Vice get access to desired drivers as well as Core IDs and raised buckles. We have the Kalo Core ID for this brown one which is uh, an owl based rider. Then we have the three Cracked Core IDs, and these are Core IDs for riders who have been defeated in battle. We have the Cracked 
Shiro Koraidin. The cracked Ginpen Koraidin. And then the cracked Buffa Koraidin. And you can see it is part of the molding. And they add in silver lines to really make the cracks show. Finally, we'll use our core IDs with the desired driver and also show off some example transformations. So first we have Kamen Rider Shiro. And the buckle he was shown using was the armed arrow race buckle. And here's what it looks like with the cracked version. And we can, by extension, use this one for Gein Pen, since he was only shown using this buckle as well. We have Dapan. Who mainly used the Magnum Rays Buckle. We have Mary. And for him, we'll use the armed shield at Rates Buckle. And Revi. And for him, he was given the Beat Rays buckle since it matches his color scheme. Then Kalo. For him, we'll use the armed propeller buckle. And finally, we have the Buffer Cracked Core ID. For which we'll bring back in the Jamato Buckle. So we have Buffa Jamato form. 
We can also use that alongside the zombie rays buckle. For counter buffer, zombie Jamato form. And there we go. So overall the Jamato buckle is a pretty cool little extra buckle, which does have some nice light and sound, so it doesn't have too much. But it does add a bit of a unique taste to the desired driver compared to other race buckles. And as for the core ID set, well obviously it's just a set of core IDs, it's just for the visual aesthetics. But these two do go well together since with this set it does include the cracked buffer core ID which goes along well with the uh, Jamato buckle since he does use it while having a cracked core ID so they do go pretty well together but both of them also are the kind of things that if you want it is possible to pass on them since they aren't too essential but still pretty neat nonetheless next time I'll be doing a multi-review of the first two guardian weapons and a couple of figures from King Ogier so thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like now, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.